Hey guys, and welcome to Foam Test. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a toothpick glider. I know it's a little bit out of our foam comfort zone, but hey, it's pretty cool. I made it the other day. It takes probably maybe five minutes to make. The materials you need for this build are going to be a hot glue gun, razor blade or scissors, toothpick obviously, note card, and something to measure inches, like a ruler. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your note card and measure about three and a half inches up. Then take a pencil, or a pen, and put a dash. The same on the other side. Once you have the two dashes there, you're going to want to connect the dots. Once you've connected the dots, you're going to want to take your razor blade, or scissors, and cut along this line. So you're going to take this side here, the larger of the two, the way that it meets right up there. That's going to be the top, bottom. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put dots every half inch along the top and bottom of this. Now that you have these marks on here, you're going to want to connect the dots. Once you've connected the dots, you're going to want to cut along these lines just like you did before. Now that you've finished that, these are going to make your wings. Now you're going to take your smaller piece here and measure quarter inch hash marks along this side and on the bottom. Now you're going to want to connect the dots just like you did for the wings. Now that you have your lines drawn, you're going to want to cut them. Okay, so now is when the toothpick comes in. You're going to want to take each of these pieces and fold them in half. Pinch them on the back so you should have a nice crease. Do the same with your wing. Okay, so once you have creased the wing and the tail, you're going to want to take your toothpick here, your hot, your hot glue gun, you're going to want to put a very small amount of hot glue on the end of your toothpick here, and you're going to want to take your tail, put it on the very end. Also, too, I am putting it on the angled part so it angles it slightly upward so that the glider um, has some up elevator without having to actually bend the tail. I figured that out after, I think it was seven models. Okay, so now that that's glued, you're going to want to go about, I'd say, about a half an inch forward from the front of your tail there. You're going to want to go about a half inch. And then you're going to want to put a line. Now that you have your line on your toothpick at about a half an inch down, that's where you're going to line up the back of your wing with the uh, line on the back there. Now what you're going to want to do is put a very small bead about half an inch long on the top side of the toothpick here. Then try to glue your wing on as straight as possible when you do this. Getting the crease that you made right on the middle of the toothpick. Don't be afraid to flatten your wing. You can also look down the back here and see that it's flat and that it's lined up with the line in the back. Okay, so once this is dry, you're going to want to fold the wing back up a little bit here. And then now is where it's a little tricky part here. What you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take your finger and your thumb and go like that around the wing here and slowly curl it. Once you've done this then you could pinch the wing a little bit and this will create a slight curve in the wing giving it an under cambered airfoil so it actually creates lift instead of just sitting here kind of like a high alpha and just having the air push off at the bottom here. The under cambered airfoil actually creates lift. You're going to want to do the same to the other side. So I've noticed that um, balancing this glider if you set it up like this usually when you toss it Actually, that didn't fly too bad, but usually when you first make them, they're tail heavy. This one just seems to be a little off. This one, oddly enough, seems to be pretty balanced out, and basically just to balance these, if they go, they go nose up and then like kind of spin to the ground, that means that they're tail heavy, and you're going to want to put some glue on the nose. Very small amounts of glue, though. These are very sensitive. And there's no real way to figure out like CG because your finger, well, at least my fingers anyway, are so big to where it pretty much takes up the whole wing. And as long as it's like, oh, the CG is fine. And then you throw it, it's just like, no, it's not. It just takes trial and error of tossing it and kind of figuring it out. Also, too, I've noticed that if the plane's going this way, if you rise this wing up, it gives it a little less lift and it'll go more straight and vice versa. And this one just seems to like to roll. Another thing I've noticed too is if the plane's rolling, try to make sure that these airfoils are symmetrical as possible because it could be causing like a roll input and making it roll. 
Let's try again. There we go. That was a good one. Another thing I've noticed is with the uh, with uh, balancing these out, it depends a lot on the type of toothpick you use. Because if it's a more dense wood like oak or cherry or something like that, versus pine or something that's lighter, it's gonna take more weight to balance it out. I think this one might be oak or something instead. I think I picked up some ones that were pine, and that's why they were so hard to balance. But they're also a lot lighter. This one actually seems to be working just fine. This is the Giant Eagle brand. Wow, all the way to the wall. <laughs> These are the Giant Eagle brand toothpicks if you guys live in Ohio or near Ohio. These ones actually I've seen to work really well. They aren't the circular ones, they are the square ones, I believe. I'd have to check the box, but I'm pretty sure that they're the square ones. Okay guys, that'll be it for today. This is Foam Tests and uh, just happy building.